Do we even want to know what this hairstyle is? So I know there's a whole method for how you can get the perfect top knot bun, but for whatever reason I didn't do that, I just sort of put my hair up. But instead of the usual way where I just put it up, I tried to tuck pieces back underneath the hair tie to sort of make it more of a rounded thing. But even that kind of made this happen. So basically, I think that the top knot way, which I will demonstrate for you now so you know what I'm talking about in case you don't. So actually, I think you need two hair ties for this to work. Normally people put their hair in a high pony and then after that, we're gonna skip that. But just pretend this is secured right here, like a pony. Like, <laughs> I made it sound like the little pony, like a horse. So then you twist it like this. And then you just sort of wrap it in a circle, trying to keep it as round as possible. Now I have a little bit of layers that were growing out at the bottom, so we have things like this happening, but it's no matter. And then you take your hair tie, and you try to keep everything in place. And then somehow you wrap it so that it's not entirely flat around it, but it's enough that it can secure your bun. even going how I want it. Shit. <laughs> this is the part of tutorials that you don't necessarily get on channels that are very perfect and professional. I hope that I provide you with entertainment when I can't be this perfect. Okay, so you know what? We're going for kind of um, a loose Ballerina, but shit, this just isn't working. Okay. When all else, when all else fails, just do like so. You pull it all the way through, and then sweep it around, and then try to sort of like bend it in half. So just a teeny bit is up here. Like that. slammed my finger in a door last weekend, so now I just got my finger caught under the hair tie and it, like the hair tie was putting pressure on it. Oh, it's painful. I don't think it's broken, I think it's just bruised. Not convenient for doing your hair. So try to center it as best as you can. And this is our makeshift ballerina bun. Hopefully your guys' attempts will go more smoothly. Um, but the real reason I called you all here today is I had Chinese food this evening. And what that means is I got a fortune cookie. So I'm gonna open my fortune with you guys because um, I don't know, sometimes I feel like they're kind of like hopeful little things. And I don't always take them too seriously. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, whatever, let's just read this for fun. Just cause. Um, I need water. My throat's good. Then other times I read them and I'm like, oh, I just really need some hope. Let me just hope with all the hope I can have that when I open this, it'll be something good. And I just, I didn't want to feel the disappointment on my own. I wanted some support from you guys. So here is the fortune cookie. Let's do this. Okay, are we ready? Oh my God. You will never believe what just happened. Or maybe you will if you're just like, you open fortune cookies a lot, I don't know. But I got two fortunes in the cookie. That's gotta be a good sign. Okay, let's 
because of you guys, because you're here with me. Let's read the first one. You will gain more if you save now. Okay, guys, I guess all the hauls are over for now. <laughs> um, lucky numbers. 12, 16, 29, 33, 39, 42. What this could mean is if I just hold off on spending now, what I'll be able to buy will be so much greater than all the tiny things I could buy. I like to be optimistic. Okay, the next one. The stock market may be your ticket to success. Well, okay, I always thought that that'd be really fun. I know nothing about the stock market, but if it's anything like gambling, that sounds fun. Um, but I feel like that's in direct what is the word? Direct contradiction to the fortune I just read. The stock market is not about saving money unless that is one of the things and I just proved I really don't know what it is. But maybe I'll look into that. I once tried to, I once like Googled something about like buying stock or something. And you couldn't just like go to a website and buy stock as if you're on Amazon.com and like add to cart. I'll just buy some Google stock. That's not really what happens, I don't think. You have to like go through a broker or another company who pairs you up with the stocks. Leave a comment down below if you have a very simple explanation about the stock market that would make a lot more sense to me. And I'm sure you're probably laughing at me if you do know a lot about it and you're like, oh my god, that's not it at all. Well, please save me from a not knowing about this. Please tell me. Because it's my ticket to success, apparently. So let's read the numbers. 12, 16, 19, 20, 26, 29. Today's the 20th, so that's good. All right, um, that concludes our little... Our little meet up shall we say for today um, thank you guys for being with me when I open those um, stressful fortune cookies you know what I do feel like I have some hope I'm just gonna google about the stock market and maybe I will find something cool and maybe it is what I should be doing with my life, who even knows. Um, but I hope you guys are all having wonderful evenings. Um, thank you so much for watching. I love knowing that there's people to share my love for makeup with and other just random cool things about life with. So I hope to see you guys in my next video. Um, and Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye!